let's discuss about andy what is andy andy is aberration of the normal development and involution of the breast definition of the andy is there is a disturbance in the breast physiology extending from the normality and deviation to the disease process so this is the definition of the andy so there is a disturbance in the breast physiology from normal to its deviation so it actually consists of four deviations they are cyst fibrosis hyperplasia of the epithelium and papillomatosis so these are the four changes what are they cyst fibrosis hyperplasia of the epithelium and papillomatosis so and d it is divided into three phases based on deviation in the three phases of the physiology of the breast they are lobular development cyclical hormonal modifications and involution so normally the breast tissue should develop like lobules and stromal part should develop and there should be some hormonal modifications and finally the breast tissue should involute so based on these three phases we will divide them into three groups in early reproductive age group that is 15 to 25 years of age and second group is mature reproductive or late reproductive age group 25 to 40 years of age third group is involution age group 40 to 55 years of age so these are the three groups we divided into so in early reproductive age 15 to 25 years apparition in the normal lobule formation may result as fibroadenoma fibroadenoma if it is more than 5 cm we will call it as giant fibroadenoma so it is aberration in the normal development of a lobule if normal stroma if it develops aberration it may present as multiple fibroadenoma or it can develop as juvenile hypertrophy and then develop into a multiple fibroadenoma okay this is about early reproductive age group and coming to the late reproductive age group in late reproductive age group that is 25 to 40 years of age so cyclical hormonal modifications may cause cyclical mastalgia and nodularity so cyclical mastalgia and nodularity it can cause fibrocystoadenosis or otherwise cyclical mastalgia and nodularity also called as fibrocystoadenosis so this is about the second group late reproductive age group so we have third group involution age group 40 to 55 years of age so here we have involution lobular involution ductal involution and epithelial changes so if there are any aberrations in the lobular development ductal involution and epithelial changes can lead to some deviation so what are they will see if there is an aberration in the lobular involution it can result as macrocyst sclerosing adenosis so this is about lobular part and if there is a aberration in the ductal involution so what it can result it can result as ductal dilatation nipple discharge periductal mastitis bacterial infection non lactational breast abscess mammary duct fistula periductal fibrosis may cause partial nipple retraction so this is about aberration in the ductal involution so it can cause ductectasia nipple discharge periductal mastitis so bacterial inf infection non lactational breast abscess mammary duct fistula nipple retraction epithelial changes can result into epithelial hyperplasia and atypia so this is about the anti anti is a operation in the normal development and involution of the breast so there are changes in the three phases of the physiology lobular cyclical and involutional so early reproductive age group is a lobular 15 to 25 years late reproductive age group 25 to 40 years is the cyclical and involution age group is a 40 to 55 years of age so in the first age group it includes fibroadenoma second age group includes fibrocystadenosis that is cyclical mastalgia with nodularity third age group involution age group 40 to 55 years of age group will include sclerosing adenosis ductal ectasia periductal mastitis nipple discharge nipple retraction epithelial changes like hyperplasia and atypia so this is about andy it's very important to know about what is andy they all include the benign breast disorders so thank you guys